Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm bringing you another tutorial about Luminar 4. I already shared one about landscape photography using AI and another one about portrait photography using AI as well. But today I want to focus on skin retouching because so many of you were asking me if you would be able to have Luminar 4 without having to have Adobe. And yes, you can do that. You're gonna see now it works perfectly. So it's a non-subscription program and you have a discount link in the description below. So you can grab it right now through the link. But I'm gonna show you today my workflow because I personally use Adobe. So I would edit in Lightroom, then I land the plugin Luminar 4, and then I carry on with Photoshop. But that's a personal choice, guys. You don't need Adobe, but you're gonna be able to see that today and learn how to read that skin, guys. Let's go to it. So you would open Luminar 4 if you don't have Adobe, like I showed you in another tutorials, or otherwise you would open Lightroom as I do. And here you would have the catalog, you would have the pictures of the photo shoot you took. This one personally is a mental health awareness campaign I did for stock photography. So this one would be the original picture I did. And then after the color grading would be something like that. I'm not gonna explain that because it's not a Lightroom tutorial today. So this one would be more desaturated, um, a bit more warm, and that's it. But what I want to do is retouch the skin, the features of the face a bit, but I'm gonna focus on the skin. So what you would do is go here to the picture, once you are happy with the color grading in Lightroom, right click and edit in Luminar 4. So this would open the plugin. It would say edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. You say edit and it would launch Luminar 4 straight away. So once we have Luminar 4 open, this is the plugin. It's working as a plugin right now. You have here all the looks. I saw you in another tutorial as well this, but I'm gonna remind you. You have here all the looks from Luminar 4. Some of them I bought, you have amazing discounts right now, but this one is included, the portrait one. And this one is the one we're gonna focus on today. So you would go to portrait, and you have here all the looks available, but we're gonna focus on this one, AI Face Enhancer. We're gonna click and you're gonna see straight away how it fixes the skin. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see better. And this is the before, and this is the after. You see straight away it smoothens the skin and a bit the features of the face. I normally, I mentioned before, I don't like to touch the features if I like the features of the model. But in this occasion, I'm gonna leave it so you can see more the difference. So what you're gonna do now is go here to the portrait section and you have all the tools here. This one is amazing, but I already explained this, all the features in another tutorial you can see on my channel. So we're gonna focus on this, AI Skin Enhancer. Automatically, it does it with 65, but on men, I like to do it a bit less because otherwise it's too much. So I'm gonna put it maybe in 40. And even like that is too much because I would like to do less and then retouch the defects of the skin personally. But 40 I think is okay anyway in this occasion. So, so many of you were asking me how to clone this part. So time ago Luminar 4 didn't have that. But now if you go here to this tool where it says canvas, you are able now to clone and stamp the skin and correct these little defects or hair you don't want or spots. So I'm gonna zoom in a bit more, maybe 200. There you go, so you're gonna be able to see better what I do. And you press here in clone and stamp. There you go. And then here you have the size of the pencil, the softness, I always put 100%, otherwise it's too rough, and then the opacity. So I'm gonna put this smaller, the size, and you can read here, it says click to set the source. So you would click right next to the defect, would be here, and that's it. You have the sample there, you see? I'm gonna put it a bit smaller. And then you would click in the little defect of the skin, you see, and it would disappear. So now to set the sample again, is like in Photoshop. You would press Option in Mac and Alt in PC. So you press, and while you keep pressing, you take the sample next to it, then you release Option key, and then again you clone, and we carry on doing that. Take the sample, 
and clone, take the sample and clone. And like that, you will be removing all the defects of the skin. With men, I don't overdo it, as I said before, because otherwise it's too girly, the skin. But anyway, I'm gonna do it a bit more than I would, so you can see the difference. But you can see here how I remove all the hair, the defects, this little scar here. It's very important to put the sample very, very close to the defect itself so the light doesn't change and it's not too obvious you are cloning parts of it you can remove unwanted hair if you want like that and you will carry on like this guys for as long as we want to remove the little defects you can find i'm not gonna go too long with this it's just to show you but you can do that for as long as you want to reach it i don't know this little distractions from the skin i normally don't do too much but you can remove this you see here or this little thing it's up to you guys but this is just to show you you can clone perfectly with luminar 4 so the next thing you would do is just press down here and that's it guys the skin would be retouched let's say i'm gonna come back to 100 maybe less 50 so you see the whole picture so if you want to carry on editing the picture, let's say the skin is already retouched and you wanna add a filter. So if you press one of these filters, it's gonna overwrite what you did because you already used this filter which includes the skin retouching. So you would go here and as in Photoshop or another software, you would create a layer just here plus add new adjustment layer. So this is on top of the other one and now you can apply whatever you want. Let's apply this one for example, this one here. As I mentioned before, you can play with the opacity, as you see. I'm gonna leave it at maximum. And you see the amazing light it gives to the portrait. This would be the before and this would be the after. Look the skin, it's super good. I'm gonna put it a bit bigger for you to see and this is the before and this is the after and I love this tool I mentioned before as well in another tutorials because you really can see if you drag the line you can see exactly what it does to the skin and the light it gives I mean I love luminar 4 guys because for me it was quite cheap I didn't have to pay much and if you grab it with a discount you have to pay even less than I did and it's as a plugin for landscape photography and portrait I use it a lot but you can use it as a unique software you can use it perfectly as a unique software because it works perfectly for all kind of pictures but I use it as a plugin as I say so what I would do right now using it as a plugin is press apply and that's it. When you already apply everything, it's gonna create the TIFF file in your Lightroom catalog. So it would be here. And then if I wanna change more stuff, in this situation I wouldn't change anything else, but so many times I want to launch Photoshop after this. So I would do the same as before. I would right click, edit in Adobe Photoshop. And now it would open in Photoshop. There you go. And you can change everything you want. You can liquefy, which is like changing a bit the features if you want, shaping more the muscles, dots and burn. You can do everything you want in Photoshop and that's it. So this is my workflow guys, but this is up to you. You don't need Adobe. As you can see, you can retouch a portrait completely in Luminar 4, but as a plugin, it would work this way. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And in the description, as I mentioned before, you have a limited time discount if you wanna grab it. If you have any doubt, let me know because I'm always happy to help and I will see you very soon guys. I hope you enjoyed the video.